session in general biology one. You're still with me, Miss Priscilla Angelica Seaford Finn, your Gen Bio and Chemistry teacher. And of course, today get excited because we will be moving on with the nature of science. Why do we even have to study biology? And of course, we will have a game, an anagram jumble game on cell theory, and we will wrap up this session with a formative test. So sit back, relax, and let's enjoy this Zoom session when we will teach serve and learn together. Na, narinig ko na si Bob. Sige, roll call tayo ha. iPhone Jazz. Say here if yeah. you... Hi. Okay. Mitch. Here. Neil. Here, ma'am. Bon. Ma'am. Mary Nell. Here. Mary Nell. Here, here, here. Okay, and Tain. Dear ma'am. Okay, good. Nat lahat na nat naririnig ako. So, nakikita na yun yung video ko. So, ma'am Annie is here observing. Hi, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Ayan, nag- Hi, ma'am. <laughs> I-on niyo muna yung video Hi, niyo. Hi, Hindi pa naman ako nag- Good afternoon daw. Good afternoon. Okay, so, thank you. <laughs> To the Magic 7 na nakarating. Again, for those who cannot be here, I'm recording this one. Tapos ipi-play ko na lang. I-send ko yung video sa inyo, tapos ipi-play na lang nila. So remember, this is just for 40 minutes, mag-discuss ako. And then, you have a formative test after. Um, I prepared an online formative test. Tapos magko-comment din kayo dito. Okay? So, as I was saying, kung meron kayong question, there is a raise your hand button sa screen nyo. Okay. Sige. I'll start sharing na the video. I mean, my screen. So, again, we said, this is where we left off last meeting. Tama? Yes, ma'am. Sabi natin, the smallest organization of life is cell. The biggest is biosphere. And ended with the nature of science. Number one, empirical method. Ano ulit yung two big concepts pag empirical method? It's in star number one. Observation. And? Reasoning. Reasoning. Every time you you recite ha, syempre, na, na, naririnig ko kayo and I see your face, um, you get plus points in my class standing. Second, it's purely descriptive. That's why we have to really write our observations. And the third, it uses inductive reasoning and deductive. So, pag, pag sinabing deductive, can we all read? One, two, three, go. Deductive. Principles to make specific, to make specific predictions. predictions. Okay. What do you mean by prediction? Can anyone tell me? Vaughn, bon, can you tell me what is prediction? Um, prediction. Um, ano, ano predict. Ano ang meaning pag Nag-pre-predict. Yung hinuhulaan, ma'am. Hinuhulaan mo kung anong mangyayari sunod. Okay, very good. Hinuhulaan mo. Pero yung hula mo, based on what? Based on observation, ma'am. Correct. So, it is an educated guess. Similar to hypothesis, but you have gathered information. Ang difference ng hypothesis sa prediction, sa hypothesis, hindi ka pa nag-gather ng info. Wala ka pang other observation data. But you are giving a guess already. Pag prediction, meron ng supporting um, data. Okay, very good. Next, we have inductive. Use a specific observation to develop general conclusions. Wait lang. Okay. Nakita niyo? So, are you familiar with anagrams? Okay, sabi kay Kuya, wag masyado munang maingay. Nag-online class pa tayo. Kaninang Kuya man yan. Okay. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay. So, every time you answer correctly, you get five points. You just um, turn on your video and then raise your hand and say, say the answer. Immediately. Okay. Wait lang. Naka-on na ba? Naririnig niyo ako? Yes. Parang may nakikipag-away sa likuran. Sige, nakikipag-away na lang. Okay, ready? 
Let's play anagrams. These are jumbled letters. And you have to tell me what is the uh, word or concept in biology that we're going to talk about. Ready? So again, just shout the answer. Every time you get the answer, you get plus five. Ready? Number one. Cell theory. Cell theory. Very good. <laughs> the answer is? Hi. Cell theory from? Marinelle. Okay, five points for Marinelle. Next, paunahan, just say it since mahina yung video. Two. Evolution. Evolution. You know, na. Sabay si. Mom. Jess. Si mom. Jess. Si na. Mom, Shane, mom. Oh, Shane, Shane, Shane. Okay lang. Wag ka magalit, Shane. Okay, Shane and si na yung lalaki. Ako ma'am. Abogado ma'am. Abogado. Ralph. Very good. Five points. Please plot it ha. Kahit naka-online class tayo. Dapat sinusulat niya sa notebook na. Okay. Evolution. Three. Ready? One, two, three. Prokaryotic. Prokaryotic. Okay. Very good. The answer is prokaryotic. Lalaki. Who got it first? Okay. Very good. Next, ready. Kingdom. Four, Kingdom. three, okay. Very good. Kingdom. So, ito yung assignment ko sa inyo, di ba? I asked you to get two species. Tapos alamin nyo from kingdom down to species. Sige nga, what does King Philip came over fearing green snakes mean? K. Kingdom. Kingdom. P. Kingdom. Phylum. C. Phylum. Class. O. Order. Order. F. Family. G. Genus. S. Species. Species. So, don't forget that kingdom is the highest form of taxonomy in science. Meaning, taxonomy, it's the, science, it's the, it's the branch of science that deals with name, naming and classifying organisms. Okay? It's kingdom. Next. Phylum. Phylum. Very good. Who got it first? Lalaki. Ako, ma'am. Very good. Bon. Phylum. Next. Ready? What? Bacteria. Okay, no. it's, a, it's a special type of bacteria. What's that? Archaea bacteria. Five. Four. Archaea bacteria. Very good. Archaea bacteria. Early organisms are preserved and passed on to future generations. Okay, so when we say evolutionary conservation, this is when the changes are actually preserved and passed down to the next generation. So in your family, kung yung, yung evolution matatangos ang mga ilong until your next generation matangos din yung mga ilong niyan. Or in your family, your family of, of scientists, of doctors, of teachers, of brain people, brainy people. Siyempre, it's not always. There will always be recessive gene, di ba? Nagtataka ka, bakit itong pamilya, lahat sila matatalino, pero may isang parang medyo slow. Because there will always be um, a recessive gene. Okay? That's part of evolutionary conservation. So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. There are five kingdoms. There, there are five kingdoms. What are the five kingdoms? Oops. Sorry. What are the five kingdoms? What's the name? Uh -huh. Okay, so there are five kingdoms. We have the plantae, fungi, animalia, protista. Uh, four pala, sorry. How many, how, uh, what, what kingdom do you belong to? Animalia. We are under animalia. Si coronavirus, under what? Fungi. Protista. No. Protista. Uh, okay. Coronavirus, virus, and bacteria are under protista. Protista. Okay. So plants under plantae and plant-like organisms, fungi. So etong eukarya, can you see? Fungi. Etong eukarya, this is what you call 
domain. Eukarya, Archaea, subdomain, and, and bacteria. They are domains. Okay? So, ito naman, domain. these are the, what? Subdomain. Subdomain, huh? Or, so it's a letter K. <laughs> Kingdom. 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 Empire. Okay. Kingdom. Okay. Sige. So, we move on. Kaya pa? Last two? Cells Information Processing System. Mitch, can you read? What is the six unifying team? Kamagan, ma'am. Mitch, please read. What is the six unifying team? Go. Hello? Um, cells formation stored in DNA as well as information. <laughs> That is it, my dear students. Thank you very much for a wonderful one-hour session where we were able to discuss, share our insights. Of course, don't forget to reflect all your answers and write it on the discussion forum in our Edmodo class. And I hope you enjoyed this Zoom session. And today, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to check our Edmodo class for recent updates and announcements. Good day and God bless you.